the great sword. Um, no surprise there. No surprises. stream yes uh, I'm seeing it right now I was trying to render a uh, background for the aerial cam did um an ex uh, uh, merge with Another uh, clan. I believe uh -huh. that is the new horde. Yeah. Yeah. I'm seeing a few and people. Okay. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a uh, a pretty strong clan. I know there's Ooh. a lot of good members of RE and PS out there. So. Spell E tick. Catching someone's toe on the ramp. With this iconic monk cut. We have Horde Blonde out there with, uh, it looks, uh, appears to be his, his cock and, uh, and a pickaxe. Is it a burning cock? No, no, it's, uh, it's just a, a regular old fashioned, uh, chicken. And he goes down. Effery pondering the mysteries of the universe in the corner. Bobakin. Using Messer? I don't see Messer too often on Bobakin. Yep. He, uh, he sees me watching him, or I guess he feels my presence. Anyone can feel your presence from far away, Dom. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not even in the game. I'm just a disembodied uh, camera. Oren not in a good position. He's gonna go down. Not seeing any blue out there. <laughs> they yeah. haven't brought any explosives. Uh, blue basically dropped out of spawn into what I can only call a blender of you know 17 mason soldiers so, uh, from above there is good. so much blood yep. Let me... So how many spots do you think we're going to have open tonight? I'm not sure. I know three are confirmed. I filled one. That's Povakin. Uh, Mac attack shouldn't be in here yet, but I'll get to that. Uh, and nobody from team two called out, but I'm still, I'm going back and forth comparing. I was the, about uh, to say, um, Strida could probably get in here. I saw that he joined the call. Uh, he wasn't on the list. Uh, I, don't, I think he just never backed out of the call. Oh. I, I don't even think he realizes back. he's in there. Connect so, is in here for some reason. That's going to be tough. <laughs> oh, funnily, no. Funnily enough, I, uh, so every time I opened Discord, I, I heard elevator music, and I was like, why the fuck 
do I hear elevator music? Like I, I even like turned off my computer, turned it back on, and I, I thought I had like a fucking virus or something. <laughs> no, when when you get into the um the stage room, it plays like elevator music, and uh, every time I turned off my computer and turned it back on, it put me back into the channel, and uh, it's a, it's like, a new feature by Discord for for Discord. So when people join early to uh, a stage, they don't have to just stare at silence. Ah, stare at silence, huh? Stare at silence, yes. No, you, you guys don't deep. see, you guys <laughs> don't see sound. Unfortunately, no. I'm I'm not on those uh, those types of, of drugs tonight. Not yet. Does anybody see sun? Uh, no. Okay. I'm gonna find Min Min. What? Is Old Knight playing tonight? Uh. No, he didn't sign up. Oh man. What a the dude. cinematic bars, man. Oh, it's game changing, dude. Spearman getting just chopped in half by three different types of axes. I'm watching Povakin take on two guys the same time and it did not end well for him uh, it ended well on his only fans though yes uh pokin's only fans is basically it's it's like a large collection of beyblades and him spinning in a circle it's what the people want uh um, go check it out Ova says, I arrived at a weird time. <laughs> you said something very similar on your OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think we are ready to uh, swap maps now, right? Like, uh, or are we just gonna no. play this one out? I'm gonna play this one out just to let Yurik do his thing. I'm gonna give people a little bit more time to get in here. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, I'm an adult. Wrong kind of helicopter boom. Or the right kind. You catch my drift. Feel like drifting isn't safe in a helicopter. Not with that attitude. I mean just look at this push by the Mason team. I'm yeah, not seeing a lot of dead Masons. It, it looks like uh, they, they do have a, a small wall that's probably going to get knocked down here in a second. Yeah. Uh, the days are numbered for the, the church door here. But we do have a few Agathians coming in um, to defend it, but I don't think it's going to be enough. If, uh, if every Mason on the stairs right there just went to attack the door, they would get it almost immediately. Let's see if the, and any of them are going to spawn as monks. You know they're going to spawn. Let's see. Waiting to oh. see who does. We, we already uh, we already have people telling them to not pick monk. The door goes down. And I, I see, see 10 monks Eon. immediately. 
So we have Kefri and Peon as monks. Uh, oh, uh, an amateur mistake of staying underneath the chandelier. Three yeah, monks. Oh, that's painful. There's a fun thing that happens when Nightcrew dies. Uh, his body usually flies because he's midair. Uh, I've noticed that. <laughs> Look at them just like, come in. It looks like, uh, you know, Masons are indeed assholes. Uh, they, they broke into a church and just out of spite so well Fedrit wasn't really a saint there, yeah. I've, I've heard things Alright, game one tonight, uh, Battle of Dark Forest. Uh, what are the, the, the teams of Dark Forest. set, Bo, just so we can reiterate? Team one, Agatha. Team two, Mason. Heard it there. Agatha! Oh, uh, make sure to go into spectate. Looks like we have a pretty even lobby, a uh, 29 to 32. So we we will need to uh, fill up those last few spots, which um, technically there there are three spots because that level five person on there, I'm pretty sure, isn't on the sign up. Yeah, I'm trying to get people on the right teams. They weren't paying attention during the warm up, which is it's okay. That's kind of expected. Look at that defense being set up by Agatha really quick. Yeah, um, let's see who the, uh, so we have Rhino Sideshow, uh, as Engineer on Agatha, and there's at least one more, uh, Pobikin being the objective goblin impaling himself on the spikes. Uh, we, we all saw that Pobikin. Um, Pretty good defense so far. Uh, if you're looking from the back side of the flank, you have... Uh, most of them are coming directly straight ahead. Uh, we do have one person, Horde Vlan, coming out almost single-handedly, taking out all the spikes by himself. Was he the uh, engineer with the pickaxe? Yep. So, uh, first objective goes down. Uh, I've never really seen that objective defended, so I didn't have high hopes. Uh, we're still trying to balance out the teams here. Uh, we might actually need some some people to uh, to go over if uh, if they don't get balanced here shortly. I'm gonna swap up over because some guy didn't show up. Yep. That'll even up the teams a little bit. Hefri. Uh, Every's a about three or four players, so you know it might be enough. I'm an Agatha. Mason's showing no mercy. Uh, they're they're just pushing the card as hard as they can. Let's follow Moon Moon. See how good his intimate knowledge of the game helps him. Pulling a uh, lone archer, winning a one vx as part of the X. Love that guy. Um, Stepbo, do you want me to like go in? Yeah, yeah. hop on Agatha for now, just in, just until Sun God shows up. All right. Uh, is is he on the way? Do you know? Yeah, they said he was on the way. I will do um, what I can. 
Boomstick is on standby. Just let me know when I need to go back into spectate. I'm trying not to let, uh... I, I don't want to have Mason just steamroll the entire, like, three of, uh, first three objectives. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I told them to come on in to uh, Agatha. Moon Moon doing a good job of staying alive, playing, guarding that back line. Got Agatha set up defense. Mason's just going up on the left side of defense. No resistance at beginning until they hit that wall. Well, technically that would be the resistance. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get a barrel kill here. Nope. I see how it plays out for this, but Confuse is confused and he's finally on the right team. That's what's up. Name checks out. Man, just look at this battle on the left side for defense. Mason engineers doing the great strategy of blocking the uh, Agatha reinforcements from getting up easily. They should have moved those walls further down because they're able to just jump up and get that flank. Oh, I fell off the wall and broke my legs. I'm surprised Masons haven't, uh, engineers haven't gone and block the Gathians from coming up the other side. Looks like the gatehouse will be going down here shortly. So Dong, are you on Agatha or Mason? I'm on Agatha, I'm just helping them out until they get team balance. I'm uh I'm wielding a Highland sword. With no oh, uh, we are now tuning in to Dong. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good or bad is an idea of this banker on Agatha? Or is that, is yes, it too that's early a to good, call that's, that? No, uh, no, look at the kill difference. I see the kill difference, but I also see them holding. I, I, I would let it go for, for I'll let it go objective. through this whole, yeah, okay. I am amazed at that defense. Have you ever seen a defense take back the gatehouse against such a strong team? Never. And it's <laughs> ironic that as soon as Donghammer gets in there and Sun God arrives, that <laughs> just everything turned around. <laughs> uh, do I need Do I need to go back to spectate? I mean, no. Nah, you can play this out if you want. I think this is fine. I just do the, you know, we, we need a, a crowd control weapon, so bringing in the Highland Sword, the crowd control. More control in a crowd, that's oh. for sure. Confused. <laughs> Back to Donghammer on the field. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think Confuse also switching uh, teams also helped. Yeah, that that is funny that he was actually confused. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Narok getting pushed off the wall, trying to get around that rock. Look at that Gathian like reinforcements cleaning up on the side, but do the Masons have enough 
of a strike to kill all the Gathians on the objective? Not sure. Smart move Huge by those Masons. Running straight to the objective. Even uh, experienced uh, players make the mistake of going on the actual ramparts, which aren't actually part of the objective. I didn't even know that. I'm part of the problem. <laughs> Don't worry. This, it's all tips and tricks you learn once you're a uh, million past level 1,000. Yeah, I, I hope that once I hit level 1,000, um, I, I just gain all of that knowledge just immediately. I just get it downloaded. Oh, that spear into the back. I felt that too many yeah. times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too many times, huh? Multiple times. It doesn't help that I'm a, a vanguard. I, I, I just wear a t-shirt. That's it. No armor. Dang, no pants either. No, but who no wears pants. pants when gaming? Like, really? I'm not wearing pants right now. Hey. Is what are time? pants? No, without the controller? Oh, I brought out my joystick. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, as long as it's not on camera, you're fine. <laughs> Shit. Dong and Spahulky just wiping out those masons. Classic banker. First takes down the world economy and then jumps down and stabs you in the face. Mm. Oh, it wasn't my face. <laughs> uh, your other head. So yeah, um... This this upcoming objective right here, I'm I'm hoping that Agatha can uh, defend right near the uh, the mouth of the bridge. Uh, that's usually where uh, there's a, a stalemate. But that cart's coming really fast, and I don't see any any gas at all. <laughs> well, usually the Masons get a nice push to the uh, to the crucified. Uh, pair of masons, then they encounter some resistance. That's all just from game design and the um, spawn waves. I think I'm gonna have to go spear due to the just sheer amount of spears on the other team. My last uh, four deaths have all been from spears. Uh, God bless them. Oh yeah, Cal's rocking the spear now. Oh uh, shit. Metarelle is as well. Then you have Banker, you have JC. Uh, <laughs> oh no. I, I, we just got team killed as well. Uh, Tickle Monster taking out three of his own members. JC's actually been killing it. With the and by spear. it, the other team. The, uh, the teams are still kind of uh it's only the the randoms at the bottom he hasn't got to yet I'm I watching gotcha. it. all right let's I I Agatha has any spears besides me on the team oh. do you need me to hop in to Agatha no. Okay. Nah. It's that four on the bottom, or the three on the bottom of uh, Mason is what, throwing the numbers off, but the actual, like, skill level. The, ki the kill difference is, um, I'm, I'm working on it. Okay. Watching Banker just go with the entire squad of Masons and 
look at how he plays that support. And he's doing this in first person. <laughs> yeah, I still can't get over the fact that Banker plays in first person. Oh, and another Spearman coming in. That's me. That's me. Oh, nicely done. Oh, Dong. <laughs> Dong. Showing Banker what's up. Or, or what's okay. down. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, you can tell it's me because I uh, I take the attack helicopter approach for uh, the spear. Watching these masons doing a great job of enveloping any masons that are coming close, but they do oh, get man. that. So great jump line. into the water, jump into the water, so you can uh, get that catapult ready. So Randy's this is on it. Randy is someone I've been teaching more yeah. about uh, catapult. Yeah, so Randy, yeah, you want to turn that around and get someone onto that ballista? Launch someone yeah, not, onto that ballista. Not not me, by the way. I I do not want to be on the ballista. All right. Uh, they're coming up. I think if you shoot. Mm, not yet. Now would be a good shot. Yeah, yeah. He, he knows. Look at that. Oh my god. Uh, the, the Another one. On a little to the right. Uh, two, thir uh, two thirds to the other catapult on the right. You're gonna need two stops less than that. There you go. Uh, one more. A little to the right. The other right. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, one more power, one stop more power. You'll hit the other uh, catapult. I don't a little know more. if Randy's listening in on this, but uh, it seems like he is. A little more power compared to that shot. I got yeeted into the battlefield. Uh, stood close, too close to the. Uh... There, that that should be the shot you want. Number of claw and half. Nice shot. A little, a little more to the right. Superman, um, I uh, I was loading the catapult and. Uh, it literally put me in the middle of the battle. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Randy's getting uh, overwhelmed here. That is the strategy. I mean, you take down the Gathian Catapult, they, they are left defenseless. Well, now, uh, we need to take down their catapults. Uh, it looks like somebody on the Ballista is doing that. So that, that is the standard uh, strategy for defense, where you focus the ballista on the left defense uh, catapult uh, uh -huh. for attackers, and then use the uh, gathing catapult, fire one shot at their catapult, and the other one at their spawn wave. Uh, so if Randy did a full charge shot, at their spawn wave, he could he could have got in like nine people. Anyone ever wondered uh, how I play catapult? It's it's like a slow version of when you're dueling someone. Uh, well, <laughs> you're you're actually you, you, sh you should already know which shot you're taking next. Uh, so the shot you're currently taking is the shot you thought of five seconds ago. What do you say, Stepbo, uh, on on catapult shots and and sex? I I couldn't even tell you right now. I got too much going on. <laughs> oh, you heard it from here first. He's got too much sex going on to tell you yeah. anything. 
that's that's right. My green and arms. Me. One more shot and the gate is open. Just by green arms. Who's it gonna be? Randy. Of course. Let's see if we can set up a, a good defense here. Um, right at the, uh, the doors of the castle. Wait, did he pass me? Dog, Dog Hammer coming in with a massive fire pot. Beard bandit um, in here, and uh, I don't think he's yanking anybody's spot, considering that uh, we're still having issues balancing the team. Yeah, the next one I'm gonna put banker over on team one. I do like the strategy of having people with crowns uh, surrounding the duke. Strat you can really only do on this map. Yep. As Agatha. I will say that I uh I usually try to target uh the king, but like with all the new armors, uh it, it does get kind of confusing. You're like, oh I finally damaged him. Nope, it's just another asshole with a, a crown on. Dude, JC is breaking ground I've never seen before. I've never seen anybody out kill Banker with a spear. Oh, well, JC's a monster um, with pretty much any weapon he uses. I don't normally see him on spear, but uh, apparently he's very good at it. So, yeah, he's nuts, dude. And everyone always forgets he's playing on console. Yeah. 43 and 7 on console with over 100 takedowns. You are if you're looking at somebody that needs to be the guy. I mean, good lord, dude. And Nino just having an easy time back there. He's kind of chilling. I mean, I know that his the people around him feel like they're being useful, but they'd be a lot more useful fighting near the doors and letting him take care of stragglers. Chivalrous Femboy uh, setting up uh, barricades at the uh, Agathian spawn. We'll go down to Dr. Donghammer. <laughs> yeah, back to you on the field. <laughs> Our man in the field. Green arms the crowns really come into play when there's so much fire and smoke on the, like, right next to the uh, Duke, you don't know who you're swinging at. And you don't want that smoke and or fire. The most dangerous thing for the Duke is to stay still. And that is... Did he get hit with a ballista? Um, here, let me, let me look. He is he in one down? of the few spots where the ballista could have hit him. All right, I'm going to go back to uh, spectating uh, for this. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my over there, see if it's, uh, see if it helps any. Superman uh, zooming in on his rank 1000. Oh, you think somebody would be proud of that? Hmm. <laughs> uh, it was such a long time ago. Alrighty, uh, I will go back to spectate. Uh, that's not good. Uh, connection lost. Okay, I'm good now. Yeah, he's switching it. He'll get it.
guys, just hang tight. Um, we are swapping maps. Nobody wants to play Fighting Pit. Zero people in this game want to play Fighting Pit. Hey, as long as it's not uh, desert. I'm getting scared. Uh, I'm getting oh my connection God. loss. Um, yeah, they, that happens every time they swap the map. I gotcha. I'm really appreciating the cinematic uh, beauty of Superman's stream. It makes me feel like we are watching a uh, a Knight's Tale in 4K HD. Exposed in 4K. I do have to give it to uh, Agatha for putting up a fight, even though pretty much being down uh, the entirety of that match. They, because uh, uh, Masons could have definitely steamrolled very easily. Why is nobody showing up for me? Is anybody showing up for you? What do you yeah. mean? I oh, see you. nobody on the map. I oh, gotta, you, yeah, I gotta you, you, you went to toggle HUD too quickly. No, I didn't toggle HUD at all. No, no it did spawn me in um, in Rudhelm Castle, uh, and I did. Oh, you to went to spectate over. too quick. Yeah. yeah. There we go. All right, so we have a heavy uh, push uh, on the left side for Agatha. Um, they're having no resistance. Yeah, it, I mean, I wouldn't say no resistance, but there are at least eight or nine people um, inside that siege tower versus the, like, four Mason dudes. Up. So it looks like Mason is heading over from the other siege tower. They're going to intercept. I mean, Spohulky um, could have taken out their entire uh, defensive line. So this is where I'd like to see more teams jump to the, I mean, Agatha to run to the top of the tower and allow the catapult to do the work at the bottom. Looks like Spahoki is clearing out um, several masons with the catapult here. Uh, him and S Sadistic. Uh, now this is going to be a tight spot for Spaholki. He he does manage to go a little bit too far. Oh, that's going to be huge! Oh my God, that was so good. That was a nothing but net, as they say in the industry. Let's see if he can do it again. Oh, dude, why is Spaholki so cracked on this all of a sudden? Yeah. What? He he learned from the best. So, You're uh, making me proud. <laughs> It's really making me bad right now. Oh. All right, so I don't know if Spahoki's still going to be able to do work on it, and he, he remembers you can shoot through the middle of the uh, tower. So this is going to be a dangerous one. Uh, he might be killing teammates here, but. I wonder if he knows that there are about eight ma masons behind that siege tower. If he, can if line he up fires to the left, he needs to fire to the left. Two unlucky masons go down there. I mean, aim I aim for the front. Aim for the front. Oh, he's getting Lord Dad. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Lord Dad. Okay. King Narok going in. He's had enough of the catapult. Uh, you can see the anger. Oh my god, Spohogi's got the best shot. Oh no! Narok will go down to, to six Agathians. I mean, if the Agathian teams were... Uh, was talk, uh, was communicating better, they could have let the Masons charge them and let the Catapult wipe so, out their entire front line. So, so Spohogi's gonna have a huge shot here. You see how they're all grouped in the middle? Uh, probably like half power, a little bit more than half power. I think he doesn't want to take the chance to hit teammates, which is, I mean, that's fine. Oh my god, that was so good! That, 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 was, was, so that was good. good. Full now power at the basically... foot at the of the other objective. Dude. 
though. We're looking at the score here. Uh, Spahoki is 18 and one right now, so he is, oh. he is literally hitting three pointers left and right. Just wanted to troll through. Uh, if he has a little less power, um, he will be able to six probably. Of them. Dude, yep. look, this is what I'm saying. Moon Moon is spicy as fuck tonight, dude. I don't know what's up. <laughs> it's because it's Friday. He was talking uh, shit beforehand. <laughs> Vlon and uh, Federale uh, coming to finally put Spahoki out of his misery. Let's see if uh, Spahoki can 1v6 here. Uh, he is using Execution's Axe, but it will not be enough. Let's uh, let's go check in on the other catapult cam. Uh, who do we have over here? Curious Toenail uh, and Boomstick Seventy Nine. See if they can. Uh... Oh, that's gonna kill. Oh my God, that's gonna kill. Oh. Oh. Okay, uh, I don't want to be know. that guy, but it's like watching the opposite. Um, uh. So Curious Toenail. Oh, okay, good and shot. Good God, shot. Yes, a little more power. Oh, I'm so excited to see this. Yep, this so he might insane. hit a massive catapult oh, shot come on, please, directly at please, the tower. Please. He, Where is the shot? Oh, he's getting is effectively blue balling all of the spectators right now. Oh. Rake and uh, Chivalrous Femboy just cleaned out their uh, catapult. I am so impressed and saddened at the same time by that flank. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, is shit. that Spahoki? Oh yes. my god. Yeah, I can see that head shining from here. And he's self-loading, yeah. like, he don't need nobody. He don't need no man. So, I think that with that shot, um, uh, Spahoki killed, like, five or six people. Like, it, it was pretty disgusting. And he exploded just like I did. Nice. <laughs> All right, uh, the siege towers, this is the hardest um, part of the map to to push as attackers, uh, especially if they have any type of competent defense. Uh, you can already see the uh, the engineer's blonde setting up uh, at the choke points with the barricades. Excellent jump on the balance, by the way. Yeah, there's something missing there. I told yeah, you, Randy, if you're watching this, I told you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it does look good now, so, um... It, it, you can't get any better than that. So, yeah, it looks like on the right side coming from Agatha's spawn, um, there are a lot of, uh, masons, uh, well, going down on, on the right side. I, I was about to say, it looked pretty even, but everybody just, uh, suicide packed, uh, at the top of the, the, the wall over here. I mean, well done on that flank, Spahulky. I mean, oh, wow. I, I, I do not understand why people feel like they need to fight on top of the wall as Agatha. You can just jump down and force Masons to jump down and run after you. You don't have to go directly into that objective. So, uh, Masons are, are putting up a pretty good hold here on the, uh, the left side wall. Uh, I don't see, know why people like think they have to chop those down. Like you just... right. <laughs> and yeah, then you can uh, use that as another barrier they have to get through. Yeah. So, it looks uh. like Agatha will be taking the gatehouse here. Um... They just overran it on the uh, the left side. Yeah, they all have. There's so many of them up top. It's gonna take a minute for Masons to get back here. I, I don't think they're gonna be able to. I think uh, they should probably start setting up on the next objective. Yep, there it is. I'd like to well, see the next more one teams. Is like impossible. Well, if you see, I, I feel like we're going to see more uh, strategies emerge, guarding the fires instead of trying to guard the impossible to guard uh tents yeah 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 uh, you, you see that a lot on coxwell as well uh where uh, well the one dis disadvantage of this stage is that you can't turn off the uh, uh fire. the fire what the fuck owls is not rocking a halberd a falchion on a knight is he is he, feeling is he okay? okay i don't know <laughs> 
All right, so we're uh, we're looking from uh, Mason's spawn now. It, it gives a little bit better angle. On the left side, um, we have a, a large uh, Agathian push. Uh, they're focusing left side and middle, uh, and they just spawned right side, uh, going straight to middle. So for Agatha, it, people would be uh, most likely wanting to go left side or right side, sorry. Um, you can see that they have a, a squad of people with fires. Run them in right there. Uh, um, pretty much no a resistance on that side. Right yeah, no, everybody's preoccupied with the fight on the uh, the left side over here, and nobody is uh, uh, targeting the people who are uh, arsoning their entire base. That's true. Now we'll get to see some pretty stacked team fights, so everybody's objective focus. I'm interested yep. to see the, how the splits are going to happen between these two uh, carts. Well, big push in, in the middle, so it could go either way here. Let's see where Randy's going. Randy's going right up the middle. He's rocking uh, Heavy Mace. Heavy Mace, now a crowd favorite uh, ever since yeah. that last buff. Uh, they lost the whole team. Okay. Did he get DC'd? Oh, he's back. Alright. Man, look at that at Gathian spawn just come in and take over that right uh, yep. ramp. Yep, the right ramp is uh, is being pushed in um, pretty fast now. Uh, you, you see uh, Rhino Sideshow on the uh, the top doing a jump from the top rope. See if uh, he can fight Narok. It, it looks like an uphill battle for Rhino Sideshow, and he will go down. Rictus out here in no man's land. Uh, it looks like uh, left side catapult is, Ooh. or not catapult, uh, ramp. Ramp, yeah, that thing is, is being pushed in pretty heavily. Uh, blonde putting up barriers to kind of choke point it uh, in, in between the uh, wall here. Okay, I'm fairly certain Alice is on shuffle. He now has a rapier. Moon shuffle Moon just... Wood. Moon Moon's going on the wall of shame, I tell you that much. Wood has met string, Moon Moon. We see it. Call yeah. 4K, baby. How are you 4 and 12 with the ballista? It's literally you're shooting fish in a barrel, but missing somehow. God. It's like... It, uh, I, I wish uh, we could find the person who did that amazing peasant voice to take over that ballista. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Alright, let's see where every everybody is over here. Um, the left side ramp has about five masons on it. Uh, middle looking pretty spicy here. Uh, got a good three or four members of each team. And uh, right side ramp is pretty much all the way like up into the town, uh, but is heavily defended by masons. Oh, Sun God went, went default. That's why I was like, who is this dude just beating the shit out of people? Excellent play by Masons, taking out the entire uh, uh, people on the ramp and then just leaving a couple people uh, to defend while they go stop the other objective. That was a pretty big bum rush to Moon Moon on the Ballista. He, uh, He's used to getting bum on. rushed. <laughs> five guys. I mean, if you're gonna get rushed into your bum, I'd rather have five guys. I think we've mentioned that every single one of these <laughs> five guys and somebody taking them on. 
Well, five oh. guys. Five guys is <laughs> you... delicious. This stream is not sponsored by Five Guys at all, uh, but they do make good hamburgers. So, uh. Make a pretty mean cheeseburger, too. Yeah. Oh, I love how their standard is to having double meat. I mean. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you're dealing with Five Guys, you, you, you have to expect a bare minimum at least double meat, if not, like, quadruple meat. Yeah. They get that creamy cheese all over. <laughs> Moon. Moon Moon just flanking the guys from behind. Look at him. He's now going into battle head first, trying to yeah. tackle people onto their back. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, Moon Moon A compromising escaping. position. Yep. Escaping. He's uh, he's pretty bloody. Uh, he will go down. Who would he go down on? Who was that that killed him? <laughs> that was Wedge. Yarl Wedge. Oh, went, went down on your old witch and, you know, things happen, man. I mean, can you blame him? All right, okay. let's quit ripping on Moon Moon here. <laughs> oh, I was just, you know, I was just commentating what was going on. What do you think? There's oh. some innuendo going on here? Yeah, there's like quadruple entendres going on. Oh, Frenchman. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like Moon left. Moon's... Uh, talent. I mean, he's gotten so much better than from when he started playing Shiv. Oh, yeah. Sh uh, Sh you can say that about a lot of people. I mean, hell, I remember when Spahoki uh, was learning how to play. So, and, and watch him now. He could beat my ass every day of the week. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting down to the wire. Yeah, so they got three Spimble minutes on the, up the spear here. As three minutes on the clock. Uh, it looks like only the leftmost uh, ramp is, is being pushed in, and it's heavily defended now. Um, three Agathians on the right ramp uh, pushing it in. Uh, oh, nasty flank going around for Agatha on the far left. There's two. I didn't catch who they were. Let's see. Rhino and Bomb yep. Squad. Yep, yep. So Bomb Squad, Rhino. Rhino getting caught up on the barricades when he could have been just absolutely demolishing uh, the, the backside of uh, the Mason flank there. I love this chaos ball of just hatred going on between the two teams right here. It looks like, like a the biggest team fight. I love this fight. Oh. LK Randy coming around, seeing if he can get uh, on the back side of that flank. Uh, he's getting caught up uh, with uh, Mac Attic right now. Uh, see if he can hit a heavy flank here. It looks like pretty much Agatha just wiped out Mason. Uh, he's going over to right side Mason ra uh, ramp, and, uh, and now he's joining the front line, and he goes down. Another misstep by Mason. You only need a couple people on the objective while the rest of them need to keep Mason's off the objective. Yes. But I believe the ramp is on autopilot now. Once you yeah. pass those rocks. Right here's the spot, so. Yep, so there there are five Agathians just chilling on the ramp. Uh you know. But there could be nobody on the ramp, it would have kept going. Like right there with this uh, this messer just laying on the ground is about where it is. I, I believe it's because all those Tesla engineers have actually been working on autopilot on the ramps. <laughs> That's true. We we have Raekwon on the uh, the ballista get, um, gets immediately tackled off. But let's see if uh, he, he can right. work this ballista. Oh, oh, man. oh, a double kill. Who the fuck got that? Was that yeah, Ray? That, that was Ray. That, that was Sadistic Ray. So and Rictus. Uh, Chivalrous Femboy, he is putting down tons of barriers trying to stifle the advance of uh, Agatha on the uh, left side. Alright, I'm gonna follow Wolfblade around. That's a new name. I know we had another wolf name in here, but this one's brand new. Let's see what this guy does. The short so. king. So we have uh, we have three banners uh, on the point. Uh, tons of engineer 
uh, on the point as well. So we'll, we'll see if uh, if all these engineers can help stop Agatha from uh, taking the, the courtyard. It, it doesn't look like it's working, um, but we'll see. Huge push from Masons on Agatha's left. So Still we have Sun God out. on the Ballista. He's uh, he's clearing out vital key members of the Mason team uh, with, with precision. Are we gonna see a peon uh, air? I think uh, unless he gives it to Morin. Uh, yeah, it appears so. Because, I mean, he's 37 and 19. He's he's about 3,000 points. Uh, <laughs> Does Henry Cavill have kids? So that would be peons there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what is peon using? Peon looks like he is using Greatsword Knight. Or hacks, if you ask any public lobby. Yep. Eight switching to Guardian Spear. You'd think more people would play Guardian Spear on objectives like this. Look, Guardian Spear is like the most boring thing to play, to be completely honest. Like, I get why people don't want to play it. It's alright, but it is very boring. But you know how fun it is when you're side by side with a bunch of other shields and spears? Man, yeah, we saw that. It. it looks crazy. Yeah, it circle. does look crazy. Number Claw rocking a Warhammer instead of his typical War Axe. So, it, it looks like Masons have pushed him off of the point. Um, it, it was getting a little dicey there for a minute for Mason. Um, but it seems like uh, they push him all to the outside of the circle. Um, There's so many the banners side. popping up. Heavy flank on the left side. Uh, we have uh, Baholki over on the back side, seeing if he can flank around. It looks like Masons have noticed him and uh, will go down. I believe people will get tired of having to run all the way to the objectives. That's why they take the path, uh, the shortest path, when just going a few seconds uh, longer around to the side would be a lot more beneficial for their entire team. So, I think that Agatha needs to group up uh, and stop trickling in uh, because right now there is a huge ball of masons uh, on the point. Um, in any Anybody who trickles in is just going to die. Uh, they should probably group up. Uh, and kind of do a, a, a singular large push and overwhelm them off the point. All around LK Jot. I haven't seen this guy play too much, so I'm interested. He's rocking Double Dane, the Emperor's loadout, as we call him. Yep, yep. The, he, he actually owns that loadout. He's trademarked it. He's um, He's got patents on it. Like... Mm. And he's gotten really rich because every single noob who joins the game switches to that. Yeah, double dang. <laughs> it, it's literally the, the sniper rifle of chivalry. Let's follow fleeing peon for a bit. So again, uh, Agatha keeps trickling in. Uh, they they have a slightly heavy push on the left side here, but uh, they should start to take it here in, in, in a second. Yeah, if they get that uh, oh, respawn behind them. Oh, there we go. Yep. So they need to there, there's about ten more Masons coming in. Uh, that's gonna turn the tide a little bit. Josh, I mean, he gets no fucks. Oh, uh, right. do you see Ooh. that ramp that they just put right there? That's that's huge. What constitutes a ramp? Oh, thank you, Velvet. Oops. What did you do? Uh, my category is dark and darker. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, Velvet, you could jump in here on our team one. I don't know if you saw that DM or not. Oh, they actually have a foothold in here. Let's see if they can hang on to it. I mean, what they need to do is push past and, uh, and get to the edge of the circle. Force Masons yeah, so to stay. Oh. Yeah, so Masons can't uh, actually get into the point. It looks like Masons are going to kind of sweep them back off the point. They're, they they have control of the middle uh, right now. It, it's I mean, pretty even, though. Peon is just murdering people left and right as he does. Holy I, fuck, Peon. They had families. I, uh... I don't think they're going to be able to capture it in 43 seconds, so um, not with the amount of masons that are on the point. Uh, Gun goes Adam down. God would have to uh, happen at this point. And I don't feel like acting. <laughs> uh. Call in peasant storm. It uh. Did you remember me talking about Peasant Storm? I don't, I don't know if I, I was talking with you or somebody else, but like if they had pro streaks in the game, one of them would be Peasant oh, Storm. Oh, yes. Where, where just it'd be like the dogs in Call of Duty. <laughs> they, just, they just run around killing people. All right, looks like Masons uh, secured a victory. Uh, it was a very close game, uh, less than uh, a 60 kill difference between the teams. It's um, crazy. They pile, they start piling those on at the end, holding that yeah. point. So what map are we going to now? Falmire. Falmire. All right, so Rake and Wedge are both leaving. That actually might balance itself out because they're on opposite teams. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Hey, that worked. Falmire. If you're leaving, grab a buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Team one, Mason. Team two, Agatha. I do like seeing like a lobby where there aren't any double digit levels at all. It, it looks nice. We love to see it. Oh, you cute little triple digits. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I'm getting there, man. I'm getting there. Oh, shit. Give me another month. Or two. Probably two. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Uh... <laughs> prison cart uh you can tell they have at least three engineers working on the job you got wolf blade uh, oh morin's on the back uh seeing if he can solo take it out he's gotten several hits he's gonna go down uh he did pretty heavy damage to that last cart so uh like one sneaky engineer or somebody with a, a big sword could come maybe uh not the last little bit of hp off of it oh my god sun god what the fuck putting clinics on people right now that was nasty i've never seen a floating messer like that before all right watching moon moon now uh, last time I checked in on Moon Moon, he was uh, contemplating the quandaries of the universe uh, out in the, the woods over there. He gave his teammate a couple love taps. That's pretty nice of him. 
Moon Moon. Oh, now he's in a 1v1? 2v1? He's had so much experience just tapping friendlies in the back. <laughs> oh, don't I know it. Oh, he lost he's his weapon. So gentle about it. He, he probably needs to get out of there. It's not looking good. He lost his arm and his head. I mean, you, you can see all from above that at the blue team is just having a hard time moving forward. Their dead bodies so, are just littering uh, much further back than so they should be. It, we do we do have one person who's trying to do a, a hard flank, uh, Kate. Uh, she 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 was uh, using a, a pretty unique strategy of hiding in a bush and then running to another bush and hiding in it. Uh, she was spotted almost immediately though, uh, so it did not work. She needs to make a sacrifice to the bush gang. That's true. Yeah. These bushes ain't bloody enough. Uh, really, they if if any of Agatha could go up the the left side and over that little uh, ledge right there, that would probably be the best flank for getting to the prison cart. So oh, just who is that? Oh, that was a nice uh, try by JC. Okay, we, we've got some people flanking. Yep, they will get the objective. I think that was Turkish Syrup, and uh, Moon -moon. I didn't see before they died. Did Moon -moon I'm surprised Moon Moon's not activating active camo yet. I haven't seen him as a peasant at all. There, there's only one person with active camo in this game, uh, and that's Fleeing Peon, so... <laughs> I, I thought that was just plot armor. Yeah, no, or plot armor. It could be either one. Yes, uh, Fling Peon is the main character of this story. Oh, we are all just NPCs. So, if you're wondering why he does so well, that's that's literally the reason. Depending on how this map goes, this might be the last one. If it's really quick for some reason, then we'll have Lion's Fire next. So, uh, it looks like Agatha, we got four petards going, uh, um, Have you ever seen that? Side. No, I've never seen that. Like, I, it kind of caught me by surprise, because generally the right, the right side's the one that's always pushed in. I think they held <laughs> on to it a little too long, though. They yeah. started taking damage and couldn't get rid of the, uh, couldn't throw it. I mean, that's, that's, that's when, that's when you gotta, when you gotta to throw, throw them. Them. Exactly, yeah. especially when you have four of them. And you can't yeah. counter them? He just leapfrog it. Just keep, like, it could be a whole wave of those just I mean, going across. So, b both sides oh, look pretty throw. daunting. Uh, if Shut you're uh, the Agathians, uh, the left side just has a ton of guys on it. The right side has a ton of barriers. Like, it, there's no easy option um, in this scenario. Well, which would you prefer to deal with, barricades or people? Um, honestly, I'd probably take the water wheel up the the <laughs> side. That's the to... correct answer. Yeah. Yes. The wheel trick. It's but all the proven. thing is, is that with, with those barricades, they're perfectly spaced to where you would have to throw them, uh, throw the uh, petard over the barricade and take out at least oh, one. Here we of go. Them. Some dude's doing it. And there he is. Chivalrous Fin Boy on it. Yep. Okay, hey, he got one pass there. That's yep, good. He did. But a as I said, you're going to run into those barricades, which are pretty much, uh, you know, stopping any forward movement. So, honestly, like an engineer, like a stealth engineer getting in there and just making a hole would probably be the most optimal choice. Um, so, one, one thing I've been practicing uh, in pubs with other LK is leading with a spear, putting down a spike trap, taking on the spawn wave and letting the uh, petards just run up the spike trap over yeah. the barricades. Yeah, so sometimes you do need a crazy spawn wave berserker to hold off their entire team just long enough to uh, to help them get a foothold in, in, in a position because you know everybody in that spawn wave is going to be like, ooh, a free kill, right? So you, you, you literally distract eight people from going to the objective by being a nuisance in their spawn wave. Uh, Every, if everyone 
Uh, if anyone ever wondered why I go to the spawn wave with my flashy armor. Yep. It's, def it's definitely not that reason. It, it's like a global taunt. Uh, you're, you're taunting everybody on their team just by how drift out you are. Okay, so Agatha's got a good push on the right side here. Tons of barriers going down. There's at least one petard there already. Let's see if he picks it up. Yep, he does. Second one uh, incoming. Uh, they need to clear away from that door before they get blown up. Uh, they can just uh, yeah. hide in the corner. Yep. And second one is okay, put down. Yep. yep. So, uh, Moran, what a wonderful TO player. Upstar now oh, yeah. recently LK. Yep, and he's going to be uh, level 1,000 here uh, as well. Yeah, both JC and uh, Hira Morin, um, great players, just joined LK. Uh, give me a run for my money every time I, I see him in a match. Are we really going to have four level 1,000s? Dude, I'm pushing uh, so hard for that. Yeah, oh, no, I just mean, hit 800 uh, the other night. So Ooh. I think uh, Randy, Moran, me, uh, we're all kind of like right around the, the grind for level 1,000 now. My uh, third Dion has character. a spear. Oh, Lord. Oh. Who did that? I'm seeing Ooh. Peon. Uh, he, he's trying to take on two people with the spear. Um, it's not really a 1vx weapon. Peon will go down. Did anyone see Shalurus Feldenboy get around all that Mason defense and get soloed the back gibbet? No, we were watching Peon with a spear. You don't normally see that, but uh, but yeah, no, I, I believe it. Uh, Fenboy is a awesome objective player. I think he's uh, uh, um, an engineer in this game. Yep. Yeah, which I, I didn't expect. No, like, well, if normally he's kind of a jack of all trades. I've seen him with the uh, a war axe. He did spear for a little bit. For this guys... uh, objective, you'd want to be an engineer if you're going purely objective. And I think he's doing it again. Yes, yep. he is. Look yep. at that. Single-handedly, single-handedly hopping on top uh, of uh, of the prisoner enclosure and just going to town on it. Jowzy getting another one. Jowzy teaming up with Skate Ninja. Peon it. Peon playing a near objective. So this this is gonna be close. The two in the middle, heavily defended. You've got two banners. You've got like nine barricades, ten barricades. Um, we did see some people trying to uh, to go in and and you know get some hits in. Uh, to no avail. I can't imagine those last two gibbets have a lot oh, of health, and oh. they don't. Fimboy again! Fimboy again! Oh my god, Fimboy. Dude, he is an absolute with menace right now. flaming cock of justice comes in. <laughs> Did someone say flaming cock? I think it is time. Yep. Yes, it is. Yep. <laughs> There's Superman's, uh... I, what, what would you call that hat that you have on? It's not really on fire, it's... Oh, the fire's on the inside. Ah. Ah, I see. <laughs> uh, uh oh Randy about to take out some fresh meat. Oh, the poor guy. Oh, no. Randy, get it. It only burns when you peek. All right, let's see. Let's see what they do on this bridge here. Um, so it looks like there are. Tons oh my God! Of there's a huge flank going around. Look yeah, at the left yeah. side. There's like six of them. It's F. Who we got? Cop. Hippo, Jot. Hippo, they're trying to. They're trying to flank. Shh. <laughs> uh, dude, they've already done it. They just sandwiched yeah, the yep. masons. Yep. Like that's so crazy. Like F and Jot. Uh, Bomb squad running like a coward. <laughs> All right. Alright, so they took the first part of the bridge pretty much with relative ease. Uh, th this is where it gets a little spicy uh, for the Gathians if, if there's a good defense. You, you see a few of those barriers coming up uh, um, right there on the line uh, where they start taking uh, the point. Hova with 
an amazing flank. Uh, Calling out like after he's engaged. Uh, Masons need everybody on the point right now, or uh, Agatha's gonna have the numbers to take it. Uh, it does look like Agatha is going to press this advantage, and uh, let's see if there, there is a spawn wave coming in, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Wait, it's like right down to the wire. Wow, Mason's actually pulled it out. That's uh, I, that's I'm amazed at how many times we've seen this like in the last uh, few games. Yeah. Remember guys, it's it's the board right there at the mouth of the bridge that that's that's where you you start getting points. So you you can uh you can see you know how many people are actually in that uh, that objective that square essentially. So it looks like Agatha only has about 3 people on it right now. Um huge flank coming from Mac Attic. Um, instead, he gets sidetracked, doing a 1vx over in the corner, and he will go down. If I'm Agatha, I would be really disappointed if Masons are able to hold it <laughs> for yeah, four and a half they, minutes. They, they, they were, they were like literally like one kick away from uh, from winning right there. Ooh, Sun God getting taken down by Barundun. Okay, so there, there's a there's a large amount of Agathians uh, that just rolled in right here. So Masons need to press up to not let them onto the point. Um, so far, it looks like uh, Agatha's going to have the numbers advantage. It, they just need to get onto the point. Uh, just looking from a uh, bird's eye view here. Um, I don't see any spawn waves coming in. Okay, so... Masons just spawned, but I don't know if they're gonna get there in time. Let's see if the remaining Masons can hold it out. Oh my god, Sun God just getting surrounded and he goes down. Yeah, I I don't think uh, Masons are gonna be able to hold it this time. But I said that last time, and they do have a spawn wave coming in. So uh, we'll, we'll see if Agatha can take the point right here. Let's highlight a uh, community yep. member who's... Bro, Moon Moon always emotes after a kill, so toxic. <laughs> well, when you rarely get kills, you gotta slow celebrate each one. Oh yeah. my god, I love girls <laughs> back and forth. So good. At least that one was a, like a salute and not a laugh this time. It's so good. All right, uh, who do we have on the Blista up here? It looks like Sun God taking over the Blista again. Um, Moran coming in, getting that ladder piece in place, see if we get some flank action for uh, Agatha here. We have uh, Goober Noodles uh, coming up, possibly flanking left side. He's thinking about it. He's going up. Uh, Sun God needs to watch his back. I don't know if he's aware that Goober Noodles is about to... Uh... Oh, he, he knows. Wow, they just and let him farm the front gate yep i mean so, who, who needs anything special if you got enough engineers and uh axes yep. hitting that front gate now uh, i'm interested I, to see this this is normally where most of the comp teams like fall through or like any competitive setting this is where it gets stopped now I, i'm watching this 1v2 unfold on top of the uh the gate here between sun god and uh and lazy federale and goober noodles and honestly it, it went on for probably about a minute like uh very impressive sun god held his own uh He's ultimately he did die goober noodles trying to point farm up here somebody attacked him from the rear so my favorite thing to do in this map as uh as agatha is to get behind the uh the the spawn ledge right here uh on the, on the right, right side. side yep and watch so you everybody will auto run you can put spikes down you see a, a few people uh running into the spikes that were just put down right there you can throw a fire pot and everybody jumps into the fire pot oh, and then if you have support. a highland sword you can cleave like seven to eight people that jump down um it, it's one of the best spots for getting like massive kills in the game uh that and the the dark forest bridge um 
as well. So. Right, I mean, the kills see. are very even, but it's right now it's just team objective focus that's winning. We we have yeah. Epri. He's uh, wow. He, he through the barricades. He he managed to get that crank. Uh, I think Vlon, no, uh, Rhino, Sideshow, he ended up just uncranking it immediately. I'm not surprised. He Hef will do, will go through anything and anyone to get that crank. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing he won't do for some crank. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh, he's like Chivalry's, like, soldier boy, because he's always about cranking that. Or something. I don't. Oh, I don't, I don't know. It was a reach. Oh yeah. Man. It's F coming in for the. It's, it's the okay. You crank that wave. out. <laughs> so, so I see Heffrey going for the crank again on the right side, and then a entire spawn wave literally just spawns on top of him, and he just dies immediately. I hope Agatha is calling out uh, the Mason spawns because that way their spawn wave knows where to run. So it looks like most of Agatha is going to go for right, uh, right side and middle of the crank. Uh, that's where most of them are. Let's we'll see if uh, we, we have a few flankers over here. Kirby Power 64 coming in. Um, he's trying to get to the crank as an engineer, but uh, ooh, we, we might see it. Yep, there we go. He got it. Uh, we have another one, Newbie Poopy. I, I've never seen either of these people, and they are really hard pressing the objective. You, you'll love to see it. Oh, why is he breaking those barricades? He could have used those to defend. What? Velvet just escaped the floor. I mean, look at this defense Hefri, of the crank. Hefri, Hefri showing he is asserting crank dominance right here. Uh, there's a <laughs> 1v1 crank battle going on on the right side. It's Sun God and Hef. Sun God coming out on top. Sun God loves Literally. coming on top. Literally, he was on top of the crank fighting a 1v1 with Hef over the, the, the destiny of the crank. I believe I've seen the show before. I, I thought it was called uh, Crank Yankers. Uh, so. <laughs> I was so fixated on the fact that Velvet just jumps through cement. Like, you know that spawn on Mason yeah. that you get stuck at? He just, for some reason, he jumped out of it. What do you mean, for some reason? It's because it's Velvet. All right. Wait, are we, we going to see Peon? Uh oh. Yeah, this is a uh, force where? of nature. Is he? Oh. he wait, where did he go? He like okay, he, he hid like... in the back. Oh, and he's going for the swords that everyone overlooks. Oh, that, that sword is actually really, really good. Highland sword. Oh yeah. my god! This is nuts. This is the shit I want to see. Yep. So I don't have... think I've ever seen him on one of these. He always passes it. It's like so he, back when Highland kills. Sword was uh, was broken, uh, you could see Peon using nothing but Highland Sword. So the, the thing the thing is the weapon's still good. Uh, I, he's still going to just shred through people. Um, Peon, I bet you won't go in and uh, special in in the middle of an entire group of people. Well, he's not going to. He just picked up heavy mace. Now, will he run a lap? I don't know. This would be a pretty risky rap, uh, lap uh, run right here, just due to how many big boys are on each team. Man, that peanut butter. Spicy. I, know, I mean, he's acting a little jelly, if you ask me. <laughs> Back to you guys. So, like, Okay, um, are you looking at all of the barriers on the back side over here near the boat? Because some of them are actually uh, Agathian barriers as well? Yeah, that that I've that bug I've seen before. 
But uh, yeah, I, it's going to be hard for him to get through uh, get through over here. They they've set up quite a defense. I think they've maxed out their engineers because you see at least ten barricades on the backside and four uh, holding the line here. If it was anyone other than Peon, I'd say there's a concern. He's only had two hits on him this entire time. Yeah, he's uh, he's busy one v oneing people with uh, with Moon Moon in the corner over here. And he switched to the heavy miss. That's well, wow, there are all up. kinds of setup over there. This yeah, is a nice that, strategy. Like, I like I was this. Saying. That's why I say it, Stefan. I'm like, look, look at the amount of barricades. <laughs> I like the funnel that they're kind of making. Yeah, that's that's really smart. So I wonder how many linebackers uh, uh, Agatha or the bases have, because y you could see, you know, anybody with a knight, yeah, he's just gonna get on to the boat. One one knight is trying to get up and tackle him, but uh, he just he just boards the boat. It looks like we're going to Lionspire, uh, Team 1 Mason, Team 2 Agatha. Shout out to Peon, Jot, and Jowzy for leading Agatha, and Randy, Nino, and Bomb Squad for holding it on for Mason. Rude Rude calling out Yurik for hacking. Um, it's awkward. By Glass Kings. Oh man, look at that. It's, it's so good we're gonna play it. Right. Yep. Yep. Everybody thank Yurik if you can. That's uh this wouldn't have been as smooth as it could possibly be without him. Yep. Uh don't forget to go to spectate. Don't be like me kids. See normally it works out perfectly if all of them aren't steamrolls to where there's only three maps. This one ended yeah. 10 minutes till so yeah. all right we're we're spotlighting moon moon he's using heavy maze going down immediately looking at povakin taking out uh, the the one random afk on their team good job you got him well you can't leave that afk alive because <laughs> he's gonna stab you in the back oh yeah uh, yeah I, i'll just give it a shit uh but moon moon decides to go peasant mode Superman, go go Agatha if you want. There's so many fucking people left. So Moon Moon, uh, peasant with a great sword, doing major dodges uh, near the catapult on the right side, coming from uh, Agatha's spawn, or yeah, Agatha's spawn. Oh, glorious spiking beers. All right, yes. uh, we have we have a person on the catapults over here, Ultramind, uh, Twitch TV. Um, they're having catapult wars. Uh, that catapult's attacking the other, and vice versa. Uh, let's see. I think uh, Sun God, Sun God is on uh, the catapult for Agatha. Ooh, two hits right there. He's got um, Jimmy Flex. Uh, looks like Boomstick79 is trying to stop the catapult, uh, but gets taken out uh, almost instantly uh, due to the amount of agathians. So Agatha's got the, uh, the catapult on lockdown over here. We, we have one uh, engineer coming in, Rhino Sideshow. Uh, it's still standing. Velvet Hammer uh, trying to get Sun God off the catapult. Um, it's not. I think he is going to live to fight another day, though. Yep. I'm in here. I'm just going to chill on Agatha until it balances out. Alrighty. People just join. So, uh, Mason oh, now have, uh, 
now have the catapult. Uh, we'll see if they use it for good or evil. Let's see. So, we, we have Rhino Sideshow. Let's see if he knows how to utilize the catapult effectively. Now, it's only evil if he misuses it. Yeah, no, that's what I was kind of saying. I mean, I don't care if he kills Masons or Gathians. People better die. Yeah, no, like, as the catapult, the catapult is fueled uh, entirely on blood. So, however it gets the blood is, is up to you. Oh my god, huge hit. Uh, that was at least a four-person, five-person kill. Um, if if he hits on the right side of the, uh, the ram, he'd probably get a similar amount. Uh, but if he fucks up, uh, he's going to kill a ton of teammates. It's worth it. And no, I mean, it'd be like seven teammates. It, it's worth it. Right, I can look at the moon's name. Every moon moving stone. It's so, like, it going into his score. Let's uh, let's take a moment, and that's past the 20 character limit that a name can be. So Moon Moon <laughs> is indeed hacking. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thanks a lot, Jeffrey. Well, Jeffrey Moon Mooning Stone just died to a fucking catapult shot, um, like directly to his face. As is tradition. Looks like uh, Masons are going to push through. Um, oh my the person goodness. on the catapult, uh, he could still get some some usage out of that catapult. Um, but it looks like he's just going to abandon it. Uh, a single tear is shed from uh, uh, Brown Superman's eye. Oh my god, what a waste. <laughs> yep. We've got one person still on the ballista for some reason. Um, I wonder if he knows. Oh, he, he's he's literally just sniping people who are spawning in on Mason. GG's, Jeffrey. Thanks, Steppo, for all that coordination. Yeah, dude, no problem. I guess if we have another one like this that kind of ends with like 10 minutes left, I'll just call it that. Or just call like a TDM to fill in the time. God, it's bulky. Dangerous. For the filthy peasants. Has Moon Moon been drinking? Yeah. I mean, it's Friday, so probably. It's Friday. He just got back from a hard day at working at Chivalry to play Chivalry. Come home and play Chivalry. I mean, that's a that's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Moon Moon actually spends uh, ten hours a day in the Chivalry mines, uh, mining all of the data uh, that that is used for people to play the game. So. Thank you, developers. He actually uses his voice to break apart the rocks. Mm -hmm. It's true, this is all canon. Uh, flash lore. Let's see if there's anybody who stands out. It looks like Sun God and Moran on each of their respective teams are uh, going pretty hard. So we're gonna see a lot higher kill games now that a few of the big boys have uh, stepped out uh, of this match. Stepbo using the great sword for some reason. Yeah, uh, I picked it up off the ground. Getting immediately disarmed. Oh shit! Almost team killed by that. Jester Red coming in with a war axe. Okay. I'll go back to the basics, I think. The OG. I'm literally playing with one on one fourth of my screen. It's <laughs> pretty insane. Bold move, Cotton. Bold move. 
Let's see how it works out for him. Not well. All not right. work. Uh, Lord Moon Mooning Stone um, has a Highland Sword now. Uh, I'm surprised that the peasant can even pick up the Highland Sword due to how uh, how heavy it is. Well, uh, the, the, the peasants, they would toil on the fields all day. This is nothing. I mean, I carrying such a heavy weight at, uh, as Moon Moon on your team, you get strong. I thought Moon Moon was the heavyweight on the team. Not in the way you think. <laughs> He's like a boat anchor. <laughs> Oops. He does go down. Hovakin uh, uh, appears to be, it looks like, Warhammer Vanguard with a shield. Steps directly into fire. Almost dies because of it. I don't really see too many Warhammer Vanguards out there. Hillish fanboys. Someone needs to tell him it's because his personality is so magnetic. Oh. <laughs> Spikes are sucky. Pointy bad. Velvet Hammer coming in with a Executioner's Axe. Uh, I, he's been using it most of the game. You don't normally see him use uh, Executioner's Axe too too much. Uh, usually he's uh, he's on like a one-hander. Uh, I've seen him on Longsword. Honestly, he, he uses a little bit of everything, so it's not too surprising. Getting right in the mix. I love watching the push and pull of the teams. Probably gonna join Agathus since uh Yeah, you might as well they're, dude. They're they're down. I don't even, yeah, peon left. There's so many people that left. Oh, noted for the next time. Alright, looks like Donghammer has actually joined the Agathian team now. <laughs> um, and Pavetkin. <laughs> oh congrats on nine hundred. Oh. Yeah. Yep, that's I'm a 900, 900 boy dog. now. <laughs> I'm a 900 boy now. Congrats, man. That's awesome. I think I I'm almost it. 900 on my third account. Oh my god. But shut up, Super Bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Just 900 in my KD. do an equal amount of stupid shit in this game uh, to the try-hard shit. I mean, if you're not doing that, you're doing it wrong. Case in point, my plan right now is just to throw shit. It does work. Uh, ask Emperor Bubbles. He's a uh, he's a expert uh, pro marksman. I, I I don't know what to call it. He he oh, likes nice. picking up things and, and and throwing them at people. Play both of your uh, your accounts at the same time. <laughs> I can just see you trying to like like multi box two accounts and try to to attack with them simultaneously. Um. Yeah, let's try it. Why not? Someone complaining, getting stumped by sweats. Bro, it comes into a lobby that's like, like, 
some of the sweatiest, like, well-known players is like, man, I'm getting, I'm getting too stopped by this lobby. <laughs> Remember, guys, there is always matchmaking if you don't want to get stopped by sweat. No, there is no option. You have to play. Did, did you not know that? <laughs> it looks like somebody came and wandered into the wrong town. <laughs> <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Curious toenail realizing that I'm donking Uk Kong with his bar barrel. What about your donk? Yeah, I was about to say, that Randy. sentence almost sounded like it didn't want to come out. <laughs> and oh. back to you. <laughs> almost. Brown I think I'm gonna... Kingstown. <laughs> oh, I, that's, that's, uh, that's going into the highlight reel, Randy. Did Randy get uh, a barrel to the face? Yep. In the middle of five others man they got that left side really quick yeah but we we disarmed it immediately yeah but i'm about to lose it here blue skitty needs to realize that being okay first <laughs> need to stop being so mad at people playing with their friends <laughs> You gotta be able to bitch press 350 to be an LK. <laughs> oh, Kyle fell. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? <laughs> Check it, sir. say this player is pretty bold for literally coming into a uh, a competitive match and then basically shitting on the entirety of LK in chat <laughs> very bold he passed the test <laughs> welcome to LK brother <laughs> Dig seeing you on top of the leaderboard, I confirm. My wife loves it when I'm on the top of the leaderboard uh, in this game. I, I, I can also confirm. Uh, the secret to happy marriage is to stay on top. on top. Of, <laughs> being on top of the leaderboard 99% yeah. of the time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Me, guard me, guard me, guard me, guard me. No! Oh. Uh, Boo Skitty on the fast track of getting muted in game. Everybody knows that LK actually stands for Ligma Knights. Um, it's known. It's known in the community. It, it, it is actually what it stands for. Oh my God! Can we actually change it back? There, change it to Lovely Kittens. I actually, <laughs> that's that has to be my new favorite. Might win out over Linux Kernel or Ligma Knights. Oh my God, everybody's rubber banded for me. 
Okay, I'm sorry you get that too. Oh god. Velvet Hammer, uh, trying to take on at least five people. Successfully or no? No, no, absolutely not. Oh, the timing of that was terrible. Lovely kittens languish car caringly for Lig the Knights. That's what it said in your uh, in your chat. Oh, look at it. Oh, look. Uh, old night is three hours early as usual. Mason's uh, trying to lock uh, Agatha into their spawn. Doing a great job. Oh, Pobo, that was you. <laughs> I was like, who the hell is trying to really hit me with that turkey? Nice try, though. Pencil, not realizing he's between a spear and a hard place. Stab right through me, buddy. Now that was a well done defense. Jester. Oh, that was boomstick. Wait, we defused it. They're about to arm it again, but we got a long respawn, 20 seconds. It should be long enough. And that's what she yeah. said. Wait, I think uh, Agatha's gonna pull it out. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna pull it out. Usually we never pull out. Yeah. GG guys. GG's. So, uh, fun fact, you can still get points for barricades after the game is over. And healing. And Look at that level 74 just managing to be right in between Jowzy. The Battle of Dark Forest. <laughs> Check us out on. Oh, thanks for that reminder. All right, I'm ducking out of here. I will see y'all later tonight, probably. Alrighty, uh, I'll probably be on Dark and Darker. I've been trying to play it, and uh, so Superman. I started out as a, a solo rogue just to like see how the game was, and it's like the worst experience I've ever had. Yeah, that and, that and, you're not gonna have a good time. <laughs> I was like, why does it take 15 hits to kill every monsters that I, uh, monster and I die in like two hits? Then I played like the fighter and the berserker or whatever, the barbarian. And I was like, oh wow, this game's a lot easier. Like, I'm just stupid for picking, uh, picking the rogue.
raid moon moon and uh, raid him all right good night guys okay.